By attacking Armenia, Turkey is falling in its own trap, and Russia is set to teach it a lesson of a lifetime. Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's Islamist belligerence has now embarked on a suicidal course. Turkey has been abetting Azerbaijan towards an eventual war with Armenia over the three decades old dispute in the South Caucasus region called Nagorno Karabakh. Ankara is sending in mercenaries and fighters to lead Azerbaijan into a brutal assault against Armenia, the only Russian ally in the region. By abetting and physically leading Azerbaijan into inflicting casualties, upon Armenia, Erdogan is rubbing his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin the wrong way. Armenia is among Russia's key allies. It is at the core of Moscow's Central Asia and Caucasus strategy. As such, the Kremlin is bound to defend Armenia given the orthodox Christian connect and also Armenia is a member of the Russian-led Collective Security Treaty Organization or the CSTO and Moscow's military interests in the Caucasian country. In fact, what seems to have started as an armed conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia has now taken the shape of Turkish belligerence against Armenia. Armenia's ambassador to Russia has gone as far as claiming that Ankara has sent 4,000 fighters from northern Syria to Azerbaijan in a bid to support Baku's aggression over the breakaway region of Nagorno-Karabakh. Erdogan has therefore found a new venue to assert his policy of Islamist expansionism by supporting an Islamist revivalist Azerbaijan against a predominantly Christian Armenia. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan too has sought support against Turkish belligerence. Pashinyan tweeted, I call on the international community to use all of its influence to halt any possible interference by Turkey which will ultimately destabilize the situation in the region. This is fraught with the most devastating consequences for the South Caucasus and neighboring regions. And Erdogan isn't even trying to hide how he is pushing the envelope in Nagorno-Karabakh. In a speech in Istanbul, the Turkish president said, The time has come to end the crisis which started with the occupation of Nagorno-Karabakh. He also said that international negotiations failed to solve this problem for 30 years. Unsurprisingly, Yerevan has turned to Moscow for help against Turkish belligerence. The leader of Armenia even telephoned Putin to discuss the recent hostilities in Nagorno-Karabakh that have led to as many as 16 separatist Armenian fighters getting killed. During the telephone call, Putin said, It is important to make every effort to prevent further escalation in the confrontation. More importantly, there must be an end to hostilities. Armenia is clearly looking for Russian help against Turkish belligerence. And as such, Moscow is unlikely to hold back. The fact remains that Armenia is a member of the Collective Security Treaty Organization, or the CSTO, a Russia-led military alliance that was formed in 2002. It is described as the Eurasian counterpart of NATO. Therefore, it works on the principle of one for all, all for one. The CSTO assures support in deterring military aggression against any of the members by a third country. Therefore, if Armenia is attacked, Russia is bound to come in and ensure that Yerevan escapes unscathed. CSTO has only six member states and it is certainly not as big as the NATO, but it does have two regional groups, Russia-Belarus and Russia-Armenia, designed to meet the challenges posed by external military aggression. By attacking Armenia, Turkey has thus given Moscow the opportunity of activating the CSTO and beating back Turkish mercenaries in the disputed region of Nagorno-Karabakh. Even apart from CSTO, Moscow is bound to protect Armenia from a completely geopolitical point of view. Armenia is Russia's only ally in the strategically located Caucasus region. Armenia is a key ally on Russia's left flank and that Kremlin values greatly. Moscow will not let Turkey exploit such a major ally just like that. Moreover, Russia also wants to protect Central Asia from Turkish influence. If Turkey overpass the Caucasus with belligerence against Armenia, Erdogan will try to boost presence around Caucasus that lies just 150 miles away from the resource-rich Central Asian region, which Moscow considers its exclusive sphere of influence. Russia needs Armenia as much as Armenia needs Russia. What's more, Russia has two military bases in Armenia. Moscow sells weapons to Armenia and guards its border with Turkey. 
Being an orthodox Christian country, Armenia also looks upon Russia as a protector that will save it from a genocidal Turkey. Russia has been already beating Turkey black and blue. In February this year, Russia-backed forces killed 33 Turkish soldiers in Syria. In Libya too, Russia is unleashing its firepower on the Turkey-backed Muslim Brotherhood government. And now it seems that Russian military firepower is going to weigh down Turkey in the South Caucasus region of Nagorno-Karabakh. Turkey is falling in its own trap and Russia is going to punish it in all likelihood.